In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to transfer Google Drive files to another account. So if you have maybe two Google accounts, so you have two different Google Drives, and you have some files in one Google Drive account, and you want to move all those files to your other Google Drive account, so they're in completely in that other Google Drive, and they're no longer in the first Google Drive where they currently are, there's a few ways you could go about doing it, and the obvious way would be that you could download the files to your computer and then upload them all over again, and that's fairly easy, but it can take quite a long time if you've got a, long, a lot of files, and it's just not really ideal because it'll use up a lot of internet and things, so Timmy wouldn't really recommend doing that because there's actually a much easier way, which Timmy's about to show you now. So, when you're in your Google Drive, where all the files are, you just need to come and find the file, for example, this one of a barn, this photo. So you just need to click on it, single click on it like this, so that it's selected. And what we're actually going to do is share it to the other Google Drive account. And then once it's shared to the other Google Drive account, there's a thing to me will show you how to do where it actually makes it be in that Google Drive account. Because if you share it, it's still in this Google Drive, it's taking up space in this Google Drive. And if you delete it from this Google Drive, then the other account will no longer have it. But if you do the thing Timmy's about to show you in a minute, the file will actually be inside the other Google Drive account, and then you can delete it from this account, or you can delete this account even if you want. It doesn't matter, all the files will just be in that other account completely. So, you, first of all, you do have to share it. So we'll select it like this, and click on, click on this share icon here. And then you'll see that you are currently the owner and there's no one else here. And you'll just need to add your other account. So type the email address of your other account. And then it'll come up here and you can just click on it. And then, so it's set to editor and that's really what you want. And it's going to notify people, that's fine. So you have it all like this and you click on send. And now it's sharing the file with that other account. And now once it's shared, you'll need to go into that other account. So to me, will pull up the other account here. And now when you're in this other account, you'll need to find the file that you just shared with yourself. So if you click on shared with me here, you'll see here's the file we just shared and it's shared by Timmy TV, which is the other account Timmy was using. So now if you click on this file one time so that it's selected like this, you can click on the three dots here and click on make a copy. And now it will actually make a copy of that file and put the copy into your Google Drive. So now, if you go into Google Drive and then you scroll down here, you'll see in your Google Drive, you now have this file that's copy of Timmy's photo of a barn. And the file was named Timmy's photo of a barn. So it will have a copy in front of it. So you will have to rename it by selecting it and then clicking on rename. And then you can delete the copy of if you want and click okay. But then once you've done this, you have the file now in your Google Drive. And as you can see here, you're the owner. If you click on share, you'll see that you're the owner and no one else even has access to the file. It's completely yours. So you can do this with all kinds of things. You can do this with Google Docs, Google Sheets, photos, any file you want. And then it will be in here in your other Google Drive. And if you want, you can even now go back to this other Google Drive here, the one where we shared it from. And you can even delete this file. You can click on the trash icon and have it completely deleted. So it's no longer in the original Google Drive. It's now only in the other Google Drive and it's completely transferred. So that's really cool and that's all there is to it. And hopefully you found it helpful. It's really good if you have files, if you have two Google Drives and you have files in one that you want to be in the other and you don't want to go to the trouble of having to download them all because that can be really annoying and take a really long time. So that's all there is to it, and hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below, and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool, and Timmy will see you in the next video.